All right, I got a crazy little setup today. What I've been trying to do is monitor the current and voltage of a solar panel. Now, obviously, you can do that by using two multimeters, one to measure the voltage, like over here. It says I'm getting about 5.29 volts, or and one to measure the current, which says I'm getting about 1.57 milliamps. So very, very small current right now. And I'm using this little halogen to reproduce the sun right here. And then, instead of just using the meters, I want to broadcast this to my laptop. So I'm using uh, an XB setup, and I got a bunch of little batteries I'm using to store the energy from the panel. and um, it's a pretty interesting setup, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works since I just got this going today. Um, on my laptop here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run a little Python script, which is monitoring the incoming data from the XB device. And you can see here that it's actually giving me voltage and current values. Right now, I'm not getting any current that's uh, at least not enough I can measure, and I'm getting about 5.3 volts off the solar panel combined with the batteries. Oops. That negative is my own buggy stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and try turning up our light and see if we can increase the values and see it on the XB. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the light switch here. You can see right now our panel has jumped up to about a reading of about 12 milliamp. Um, that's not really a whole lot to register. It's just barely registering right here on the laptop. It's like 10 milliamp. It's sort of fluctuating in between. Our voltage on the laptop side, 5.47 volts. Check the voltage on the multimeter, 5.46. So I'm very close on voltage. I'm just using a 10 ohm resistor in order to uh, calculate these things in two ADC ports off the XB. So I'm going to go ahead and really crank this up now. You can see now we're getting about 100 milliamps off the meter, 6.85 volts. If we check over on the laptop, we'll see something like, oh, whoops, I keep moving the panel, sorry. 6.7 volts, 80 milliamp, 60 milliamp. This is just because I'm holding and burning my hand in front of the light, 80 milliamp. So I'm getting close with these numbers. <laughs> I'm within 30 milliamp all the time. And if I could actually stabilize the panel and not hold it with my hands, I'd do a little better. But what's really interesting about this is now I can start remotely monitoring uh, my uh, electric car batteries, my solar panel batteries, any batteries that I'm desulfating, even like use this setup for remote embedded hardware devices where I would just want to put a temperature sensor outdoors with a little battery pack and not run power to it from the house. So this could be a really fun setup for monitoring batteries of all sorts and being able to have it log centrally to one laptop. All right, thank you.